Joining us in the studio now with the latest tech headlines of the week is tech expert and startup advisor Hillel Fould. Hi Hillel. Hey, how are you? Good to see you. You too. So we're going to start with Apple today and a uh, little local news. Yeah, this is actually the fourth acquisition in Israel that Apple's acquiring a company and it's, um, it says a lot about the Israeli ecosystem that the big giant Apple Inc. is even looking in our direction with four acquisitions and the latest one is going to enable us to unlock our phones by using our faces. Mm -hmm. So um, instead of having to type in a password, I mean, 2017 wow. passwords. So right. we're doing now our fingerprint, but you're gonna have to look. You're gonna look at your phone, and it's gonna unlock it, mm -hmm. which is a feature that's existed in Android and other phones for a couple of years already. To be oh, honest, oh, it has. Yeah. So they're not the first at this. No, they're never first. By the way, Apple's never first at anything, but they do it better. Is it just best? That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> there you go. So uh, it's, you know, smartphone, everything. They were they were always last, but they do it better. So uh, the name of the company, as you said, is uh, Real Face. And really small company, 10 people, they only raised a million dollars. And the acquisition is not like a big, right. you know, $100 million acquisition. It's a few million undisclosed. Uh, but, but the interesting thing as far as we're concerned in Israel is that it's, you know, the fourth acquisition. And they're looking in our direction. It's, it's really exciting. Really, to be really acquired exciting. by Apple at all is, yeah. is a huge compliment exactly. and exactly. Uh, success. Yeah. yeah. So that's exciting. And, um, you know, it doesn't seem to be slowing down in terms of the big uh, tech companies kind of looking in our direction, both in terms of acquisitions and collaborations, investments, et cetera. It's, it's just heating up, getting hotter and hotter, and everyone keeps saying we can't sustain this, but we somehow do. Somehow so uh, do. it's really, really exciting in the tech space here. Yeah, and we're going to move on now to uh, Snap, and I see uh, your glasses again that you brought, but they That's really right. are relevant for today. Why is that? Well, as you might have heard, we spoke about last time, Snapchat's uh, IPO, they're going public. And um, just now they announced that their spectacles, which they've only sold with uh, through vending machines, actual vending machines around the world, uh, they're now selling online, which is obviously to be expected. but. They're kind of transitioning into a full-blown e-commerce company with a camera at their kind of core. And so, mm -hmm. you know, Evan Spiegel, the CEO, has said many times that they're a camera company. While other platforms, Facebook and others are social platforms, they're a camera company. And this is going to enable them really to kind of position themselves as a camera company with a mm -hmm. camera at the core and, and then selling it online for $130, which is a pretty decent uh, price point for you know, it's a trendy item with a camera built in. Yeah. Uh, it's, a, it's a conversation starter for sure. So that's really exciting to see them. You know, you can just get them anywhere now as opposed to having to go stand in line. Until now, you have to buy them Yeah, in how a did you get store. these? What was your experience? So there's, a, there's actually a pop-up store in New York. If to, there was seven-hour wait lines. It was, <gasps> it was crazy. You couldn't, you, couldn't, you know, seven-hour waits to get, uh, to get these that's things. That's even and, worse than a new uh, iPhone release. Exactly. Okay, well, we actually have a, a video. Let's have a look. Okay, so you've got your snap glasses on. Is that what they're called? Snap glasses? Spectacles. Spectacles. People oh, I'm stop sorry. On the street before they even know it's a camera, and they say, well, those are great. Someone in the studio did earlier, and they said, those are cool glasses. <laughs> they didn't even know that they have a camera Sunglasses built in. Sunglasses are getting pretty funky these days. Oh, look, you even turn it on. Uh, so I'm it's kind of like a you. GoPro on your glasses. Exactly. The second person to say that to me this week. Yeah, it's very exactly. cool. So, so will this then help the IPO, you think? Well, they say that it might if it does well. If mm -hmm. the spectacles sell well online, then yes. If not, well, then no. Uh, I think they will. I think it's a trendy item. Um, and, you know, there was a lot of demand because it was, I guess, somewhat artificial because it was very limited supply. Now that you can get them anywhere, we'll see, we'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll see. And uh, finally, uh, tell us about status. WhatsApp yeah, has so rolled that's out. Yeah, nice, uh, transition there because, you know, spe Spectacles and Snapchat is kind of the, the talk of the tech space. Everyone's looking at this company that, you know, just broke all rules. I mean, it's a hard product to use and their numbers are through the roof. Mm -hmm. People live on Snapchat. Kids live on Snapchat. And now also adults and professionals live on Snapchat. And uh, so Zuckerberg is shamelessly copying them in yeah. all of his products across the Facebook portfolio. He did it, you know, on Instagram with Instagram stories. He did it, he's doing it in Facebook, actually. Facebook's gonna come out with stories. Uh, and now WhatsApp as well. Mm -hmm. And so they announced a new product called WhatsApp Status, which originally started as the, uh, I guess, away message and enabled users to use um, animated uh, pictures and add all kinds of art like you do on Snapchat on their away status. But it, it got so much engagement, people loved it so much that they actually are using it now for, for messaging. So the way I would message someone or chat with someone on Snapchat using animated um, you know, images and art and all kinds of stuff like that, you can down, now do on, on WhatsApp. And just so you understand, I mean, and it's also end-to-end -end encrypted, which is yeah. not the case on, on, uh, on Snapchat. But I mean, WhatsApp, along with Instagram and along with Facebook, is an absolute beast of, yeah. you, I mean, it's unbelievable to, to hear their numbers. 1.2 billion monthly users wow. on WhatsApp, 60 billion messages per day. I mean, it's wild. 3.3 billion 
pictures every single day sold, uh, sent on WhatsApp wow. and 760 mil million videos a day. I mean, this is, these are crazy numbers. You just wonder what sort of system can, can hold that capacity. Exactly. I can't even imagine what Facebook servers look like. But yeah. the reality is, I mean, if I was Snapchat and I was now going public and now Facebook's trying to just copy, you know, shamelessly across all, I would be pretty nervous. And so, you know, I don't like it on an ethical level, yeah. but as from a business perspective, I guess it's somewhat brilliant uh, for Zuckerberg to do that, seeing, you know, and he offered to acquire them many years ago for $4 billion. And wow. I guess, um, you know, it was pretty smart that Evan Spiegel said no, because now he's worth $22 billion. Yeah, pretty good move. Right. Pretty, just but, few, uh, it's exciting pretty good. times. It's exciting times for sure in the, in the, in the photo space and the video space, and we'll see what happens. Yeah. Hello, thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me.